Hi everyone, hope you're all well. In today's video we're going to talk about how to block websites on Chrome. I'll use methods such as using extensions and also editing your host file and go through each of these methods step by step. There are a lot of reasons why you might need to block a site. Um, sometimes you want to restrict access to some sites to protect users from certain web content um, and computer viruses as well are really harmful to your device and can sometimes slip through an antivirus program. So if you know specific websites that may contain malware, you, you want to be able to have the control to block them immediately. And blocking websites can also help increase productivity so people can focus more on their work with fewer distractions on their phones or desktop computers to, um, to actually work. So one way that you can block a website on your device is by editing the host's file. So it's basically just a local text file in the operating system containing domain names and IP addresses. And what you're basically going to do is just edit that file to add the domain name that you want to block from your, from your computer being accessed, being able to access. Um, so it's, before you start editing your host file on Windows, you need to use an admin account before you can start editing the host file. Um, and this process is simple, just adding the specific uh, website URLs into the file. So what you want to do is, uh, once you're in the admin account, um, you want to go to your file explorer um, to find your host file. So um, this is essentially the file explorer here, it looks something like this. And what you want to do is in the sort of search bar here, you want to type in C colon slash windows slash system32 slash drivers slash uh, etc. And you want to click on that and it'll show you this host file here. So you're looking for this file here, hosts. And you want to click on that and then you just want to open it. Um, and you can use whatever text editor file that you're more comfortable with. If you want to use Visual Studio Code, Notepad, Atom, whichever one that you want. And you just want to click on the the program that you want to open the file with and just click on open. And then you'll see the host file being open here. So all you really need to do now is scroll down to the very end of the file until you see the last sort of hash tag over here and just uh, create a new lines and on the bottom of the file type in your local host IP address whatever it may be and then you want to give the domain name that you want to block so essentially the full domain name and then you just want to click Save You want to repeat the process by adding new lines whenever you want to block a new website. And just a note, whenever you are saving, you don't want to save as a text file just since it won't work. But that's as simple as that. Once you have all the IPs added in to block, then they'll be blocked from there. And if you want to unblock those, those uh, URLs, then you just need to come into the host file again and just remove them from the, the bottom of the uh, host file. So the other option to block a website, maybe a slightly easier option, is to add a extension on Google Chrome. Um, there's loads of site blocker extensions out there for Google Chrome, but Block Site is one of the is a, is a really good one. Block Site is a freemium extension, meaning that there is a free version of the extension that you that's uh, also really good to use. But they also offer a paid version that have a bit more uh, features. But to install the extension onto your browser, you just want to go into the Chrome Web Store and you're just looking for the Block Site. Um, extension by blocksite.co and you'll be taken to this page basically. 
once you have the page you just want to click on add to chrome to actually start adding it to your uh, browser and you just want to click on add extension and you'll see the extension being added to chrome and you'll be taken to the block site website to essentially start setting up your account so as mentioned before block site is a freemium uh, ex um, extension meaning that there's a free version that you can use and a pro version with the pro version um, you get a bit more features um, for example with the free version you get a limited amount of websites you can block with the pro version it's unlimited uh, you can protect your focus with a password so it allows you to essentially add a password making it a little bit harder to unblock sites um, and you can create your own block page as well um, just to add a bit more customization to it and there's a three-day trial as well so you can test it out for like three days and see if it's something worth choosing with a cancel anytime as well um, other than that they do offer a different tiered program or uh, plans so you can pick a plan that really kind of suits you if you wanted to but in this example we'll just stick with the free version and it's really simple to add a website um, to your block list what you want to do is just come to the uh, website here to the web page here and you just want to type in the URL of the website that you want to block you want to type in the full domain name and you just want to click on add um, add URL so now when I go into that URL this is the page that I see so I am um, it says up here the site is blocked by block site and you have this kind of block page here as mentioned before with the pre with the premium version you do get to create your own block page which basically just means you get to customize this page but other than that it'll just be completely randomized um, as well the other way to block a site using block site is first of all making sure that you have the extension um, pinned on your toolbar up here and then the other way you can do it is to actually go onto the to, to the site that you want to block and you just want to click on the block site extension on the top of your browser and then you can essentially just click on block this site to start uh, essentially blocking the site and when you refresh the page now again I get taken to the block page So that's really it. Um, the extension is a slightly more easier way to block your sites. However, with the block site, you do you do only get a limit of three websites that you can block, which is fine if there's only if there's less than three that you want to block anyway. But if you need a bit more unlimited features, um, going with one of the paid plans might be better. Um, if not, you can always uh, edit the host file as I showed you before. And the good thing about editing with the host file is that not only does it apply to Chrome, but it also applies to other browsers that you may have. Um, so you don't have to worry about then adding another file, a uh, block file onto for specifically like Firefox or Safari or anything like that. You can just add everything onto your host file and then all the browsers will follow. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any comments, questions, please leave them in the section below. Thanks.